So the book I want to tell you about is Dragon Ops by Mary Mancusi. So if you're a gamer and you love adventure stories, this is the book for you. This is on our fourth and fifth grade summer reading list for 2021. So Dragon Ops is a game. It's kind of a cross between, it reminded me of like Dungeons and Dragons and Minecraft combined if they were a computer game. And in this version of our world, it's a really, really popular game. There's a lot of dedicated gamers. And in the book, um, Ian is one of the game's biggest fans. And his uncle works at this theme park that has just been created that's based on the game Dragon Ops. And so Ian and his sister Lily and his cousin Derek, who actually hates gaming, get the chance to go to this theme park and experience it before anybody else does. But this isn't an ordinary theme park, it's an augmented reality theme park. So basically it's kind of like virtual reality, but you're actually moving around a theme park at the same time. So when Ian, his sister, and his cousin get there, they get these goggles that they put on. And so imagine that you're standing like in what looks kind of like an empty, dusty town on this island. That's what the park looks like without the glasses on. And then they put their virtual reality glasses on and the glasses in the book, which this kind of creeped me out, but they kind of like attach to your head and log your brain waves. And it almost, as soon as you put them on, you're in another world. You're in the world of the game. So instead of like an empty street in front of you, there's all of these virtual characters that are part of the game and you can walk up to them and interact when you're wearing the goggles. And also when you're in the game, you don't feel like you're wearing the goggles, so it's kind of impossible to take them off. You can't put your hands on your head and feel them. So they get a guide and the guide is supposed to walk them through the game and make sure that they stay safe and they don't get lost in that kind of thing. So one of the first things that happens is their guide abandons them. The guide is grumpy, he's super busy trying to get the game ready for the launch of the park when it opens to everybody else. And so he's like, you know what? I've got better things to do. You guys explore the park on your own. Fine. And at first, Ian and Lily, Derek, don't really mind because Ian's just so excited to be there. He's like the biggest fan of Dragon Ops. And then things start to happen that are a little bit weird. Their cousin, Derek who has a really bad attitude, doesn't want to be there, wanders off. And so Lily and Ian are on their own and they realize they, the one of the, they see a dragon. He's the big bad dragon that you fight at the end of the game. And they had been told that he wasn't ready yet. So he wouldn't be part of the park, but they see him right away. And they realize that he's, he's gone rogue as they say, he's not really being controlled. He's an artificial intelligence dragon, but he seems to have moved beyond the capacity to be controlled by the people who made him and he's hijacked the game and he's trying to take over and control the world of dragon ops and their experience playing the game so they're in this world they don't have a guide anymore they can't just take the goggles off when they want to and they also have no real sense of how much time has passed because of the way the game works so they're basically stuck and they realize they have to play the game beat the game if they want to get anywhere because they can't even call for help and they've lost their cousin. And it turns out that the cousin is being held captive by the rogue dragon, whose name is Atreus. So this book is so much fun. It's such an adventure. And I mean, it's literally an adventure game. They're stuck in a game. It reminded me of it's like Jurassic Park, but in a video game world where people get the chance to experience something before everybody else. And then everything goes wrong. And it's actually really dangerous. Dragon Ops by Mary Mancusi. I highly recommend it if you love games or if you just love adventure stories. So that's on our fourth and fifth grade summer reading list.